Have you ever wondered if you left your refrigerator or your freezer door open, especially if it's in the basement and you might not be able to hear that chime from the first floor or your unit might not even have a chime at all? I bought this alarm called Friggy and we're gonna go check it out and see if it works and if you can hear it from the first floor. Inside the box, we have the Friggy unit that comes in two parts. The larger part houses the battery and the speaker, and the smaller part is the magnetic component of that. We also have the 3M uh, double-sided mounting strip, as well as the user manual. All right, now that I had a chance to test out the Phrygia alarm unit that's on this freezer, I think it's a pretty nice unit overall. I'll go through the pros and cons. And as I was testing, I was taking some notes here on my phone. So starting with the pros, um, it's a nice compact unit. It's much louder than your typical uh, refrigerator or freezer chime sound. This thing uh, advertises that the alarm fires at 105 decibels, so that's pretty loud. Definitely noticeable if you're within the same room. Uh, if you're within the same floor, you can also hear it you know, beyond a uh, wall or a door. The, the batteries are replaceable. Oh, and this unit does have a low battery warning so that you're not left guessing if the batteries are in good condition or needs replacing. Uh, the instructions say to change the batteries once a year, so that's not too bad. Uh, it comes with small batteries, these kind of like button cell types of uh, batteries. And then also, speaking of the batteries, it's also located outside of the cold region. So in this freezer, the battery is going to have a tough time trying to keep it charged because batteries don't do well in cold temperatures. Um, there's also a dedicated beep that when you open up the door, I'll open up the door here, you can probably hear that beep sound uh, to let you know that the door has opened and that it has detected that. So that's also a nice touch to it. Um, the default mode, there's actually four different modes that you can alert people. Um, the default mode works for me. So after the first minute, it'll chime. Uh, there's like a little doorbell chime sound. Second minute, there's two door chime sounds. And then after the third minute, it'll start chiming continuously. And then once you hit the fourth minute, it sounds like you broke into a jewelry store. One of the things that can happen is that as you're loading your freezer, uh, something can get trapped and obstruct your door. And I'm gonna simulate that with my phone, right? The seal is not fully closed. The door is still technically open, but you can still hear this thing beeping once every 10 seconds, indicating that it's still detecting an open door, even though something as uh, slim as my phone is still in the way. So if I open this and close it again, the beeps will go away, indicating that it can tell the difference between something that's slightly open and something that's fully closed, assuming that you put the sensor in the correct position. 
Now on to the cons. The first con I want to mention is the confirmation sound. And what I mean by that is, and I'll demonstrate this, when you open the door, you get that beeping sound. Uh, but that small beep doesn't happen when you close the door. And I think this is useful in two ways. The first way is when you're initially setting this up, it'll tell you the range of where you should mount the sensor. But then when you're close enough and it's detecting the door in a closed state, it doesn't do that second beep to confirm that that has been detected. So it makes the initial setup a little bit more tricky. Not a deal breaker in my opinion, but it'll be a nice touch for it to have. And then the second use case is the day-to-day -day activities. If you're loading and unloading the freezer and you're closing the door, you want to hear that confirmation that says, okay, hey, I detected that the door is closed. So I think it's useful in that case as well. The second thing I want to mention is that the speaker is located towards the back of the unit. So I think uh, when it fires the alert, it's kind of blasting it into the door first and then the sound waves reflect off of it and maybe is not as effective. Um, definitely if you're within the room and if you're in the next room over, let's say, you know, through a door or through a wall, you'll hear it. But as you can see, this basement is unfinished. We're going to see how loud that door alarm is that's on the edge of this freezer. And then we'll be upstairs directly above here and see how loud it sounds from the first floor. So you might be wondering, should you buy this? And the answer is it depends. I think personally, it's a nice little unit to have. Um, if you're using this within the same floor that your main floor is on, I think it's a great addition to your fridge. Even if your fridge or freezer has a built-in chime, this is gonna be much louder. And also if there's a person that's a hard of hearing, uh, this thing will help uh, in case that the normal fridge sound is a little bit too soft. I think if you're trying to use this in the basement like I am, you're not gonna really hear this above uh, if there's insulation that's absorbing a lot of that high-pitched sound. Um, but it's a second layer of protection. If you have something like a wireless thermometer that has a built-in alarm, um, that can be your primary alert. And if the battery fails or if the unit malfunctions, you can kind of fall back on this. And for you know a relatively low price, it might not be a bad idea to invest in something like this as a, a backup. And that's all I got for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll see you in the next video.